Hi, Deanna here, <laughs> Intuitive D1111. I'm a seer, psychic medium, clairvoyant, clairaudient, claircognizant, and a bunch of other weird abilities, y'all. I'm laughing. I can't handle this right now. If you want to win a free weekly reading, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me a comment down below. Like the video, okay? And I'm choosing a winner this week, and I can filter it by subscribers to see who subscribed. Baby, somebody is obsessed, okay? Like all capital letters, italicized, underlined. You know what I'm saying? They obsessed, baby. They done lost their mind over y'all, okay? I'm really feeling like this is an ex, y'all. It's amazing how different readings we get different energies, right? Um, and what I'm seeing here is somebody just can't handle the fact that that it's over and done. For some of y'all, this is somebody that I don't know what's going on here. I feel like this is someone that you could have been on a, like maybe things ended and then you were like, okay, well maybe we're on a break, you know? And then I feel like this person was out here connecting with somebody else. I mean, somebody up here was like obsessed with fo focusing on their work or their finances. Y'all, somebody done messed, someone lost their mind here. We have, I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. Okay, so this person feels like they have an intense connection with you. I underestimated how important you are in my life. Okay, so that's what, that's what's going on here. So somebody is realizing now that you're out of their life, uh, how important you are to them. Okay, so with the devil card here. Yeah, with the judgment card in reverse, I feel like this person could have judged you too harshly, okay? Or they made a bad judgment call, okay? This person here, they didn't want to look at themselves. They didn't want to look at their contribution to the ending of your connection, okay? And I feel like, damn, with the seven of swords here, maybe somebody has somebody after them. I don't know. I'm seeing like two men. I'm seeing two. I don't know if they're black men or if they're African men trying to hurt somebody. I don't know if they're trying to hurt your person or a feminine. Somebody, someone did entirely too damn much and they thought they was going to get away with it. Okay. Someone could have even did something over the full moon here and is backfiring. Damn, what's going on? Yeah, somebody's. Okay, so we have a divine masculine here. Okay, that's been avoiding you or not speaking to you because they could have gotten in over their head involved in some type of situation. Okay, they didn't want to see the truth about you because it would make them see the truth about themselves that they really need to change and make better decisions on who they were connecting with and change maybe their lifestyle. You know, it's not easy to quit addictions. It really isn't. And I understand that. Um, but I feel like this person was just giving into everything. Okay. Just like sex addictions and, you know, maybe porn addiction and, you know, maybe different substances. And if you notice, this is the first time I noticed, but there's literally like blood that's dripping out of this being right here. And this is, this is, uh, somebody could have tried to do some blood ritual magic as well. And it's like, it just went completely wrong. Cause they shouldn't have been doing that shit. Maybe somebody was trying to like manifest somebody back in like a weird, gross, ritualistic way. Yeah, with the seven of swords here, for some of you, somebody is staying away from you because they're afraid that this karmic third party or some group that they've gotten themselves involved in wants to hurt you. <clears throat> yeah. With the four of coins here, I feel like someone could have even tried to have a damn voodoo doll, y'all. This is a crazy message. This only take what resonates. But with the four of coins, typically, if somebody was, you know, avoiding you because they were trying to either work on their finances, bring their money up, or they still were holding on to another situation that they were financially tied to, okay? I feel like somebody could have started ignoring you, but they were also ignoring their own intuition because if you notice this blindfold is red so what i'm seeing here is like somebody's root chakra is blocked okay they're they've trauma bonded with someone that's demonic that's what i'm seeing here so they left you they hooked up and trauma bonded with somebody that's demonic okay this person could have even did some type of like root work on them 
okay? And I feel like what's happening is, is this person's insecurities and fears of losing their stability and, you know, uh, fears of not having enough money and all types of things led them to hold on to the wrong person or to do some things that they shouldn't have been doing. Okay, so someone could have been hoeing themselves out or somebody could have been paying money to escorts. You know, doing something strange for some change or paying some change for something strange here. Yeah, and it's like somebody here. Wow, this is crazy, y'all. We have, I keep hoping um, to bump into you everywhere I go. So yeah, I'm trying to tell you that somebody is like obsessed. Like somebody, like some of you guys are long distance from this person and they were doing hella shit. But for others of you, like if you guys were not long distance and you were around each other or you are around each other, I feel like this person, either they keep seeing people that look like you or they keep, um, you know, trying to go places they think that you frequent because it's like they want to see you there, okay? We've seen in the previous reading to this, it's like, I need to see you again. Yeah, somebody here, y'all, Lord help us. We have, I can't go another day without you. So it's like somebody is realizing that it's like, like the other card that I had seen in the previous reading where it says someone feels like they've lost an angel. They feel like, you know, you helped to calm their inner demons is what I'm seeing. And now without you, it's like this person here is just, y'all, they spiraling. Somebody could be ill as well. Somebody could, you know, my condolences, it looks like someone could pass away. So I don't know if this is like a masculine or a father figure. Um, this is a home right here. So maybe somebody is sick in a hospital or someone's sick at home. Um, you know, my condolences. I see that here as well, but I also see this as this person, they were too stubborn to change. They didn't want to release an unhealthy lifestyle. They didn't want to release certain people that um, gave in to their, their sick fetishes, I'm hearing for some of you. Yeah, with the death card, Scorpio energy, and the knight of coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it's like somebody here, they know good and well, they needed to end it with some third party that was crazy as hell. It's like they wouldn't leave this person alone. It could have been a man or a woman, but you know, it's like somebody here could be a baby daddy or somebody could have wanted somebody to be their baby daddy. Okay, whatever the hell somebody was trying to do, it backfired. That's what I'm seeing here. It backfired. Like somebody could have tried to trap somebody with a baby, y'all, or um, I don't know what the hell this is. Or somebody could have been working with someone that was corrupt with the Knight of Pentacles because that's like everyday, like six house working everyday energy. Ooh, child. Yeah. The Four of Swords here, I feel like you guys are just healing, okay? I feel like you're extremely spiritually protected. For some of you guys, I'm going to keep it real with you. With, with this layup here, somebody really was trying to do some, some death spells. I'm going to keep it real with you, okay? You don't have to put down below that you don't believe in spell work and all this other shit. Keep it to your motherfucking self. You feel me? I, I don't need to hear it. You know, I read the energy that I see here and whatever you believe in, that's your own things. But, you know, sometimes I look at these comments down below and I'll be like, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm reading the energy. So if you feel a different way about what I'm saying, you can click off, look at another reader, or you could just skip on to another part of the message. This is not a personal reading, so everything will not resonate for one person. You feel me? It's a collective. Let's get into this thing. Four of Swords, Temperance card, Unbothered. Yeah, I feel like this is y'all. You know, maybe y'all be talking on the phone to your friends or hanging out with your friends at the bar. I feel like you guys have just created alchemy from these painful situations. You know, I feel like you guys are healing from whatever trauma and heartbreak that whatever um, lies and deceits that you discovered caused you. Okay. Um, maybe you have like um, long black hair. Some of you guys could even have like blonde hair or red hair. You know, I feel like you guys are really just um bother focused on yourself focused on your life you're an earth angel energy and somebody was trying to bring an ending to you and it looks like they're trying to bring an ending to your person and i don't know if your person sees it or not because it looks like they're under the influence or they're confused or they're um they're not seeing straight they're not realizing that these people are trying to literally take them the fuck out 
that's what I'm seeing here. Somebody here, I don't know if it's the mafia. I don't know if it's the cartel. I don't know if it's drug deals gone bad. I'm seeing here that somebody is mad that somebody owes them something, some type of money, or there was some type of uh, work that was supposed to be done and somebody is not, it's like they don't have it. I don't know what the hell this is. It's like some type of crooked, crooked business or crooked network. Yeah, we got the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. Somebody was working um, for some type of corrupt organization or something. That's what I'm seeing here. But for, yeah, with the devil card here. So with the devil and the Hierophant, this could be a secret society. Okay, this could be like an Illuminati. This could be a cult or a coven. Okay that might come off that they might come off as catholic okay or christian or muslim or whatever religion and in reality they own some demonic shit okay and what they do is they get people because they promise them fortune they promise them money somebody took a bad investment from some type of demonic group and now they feel stuck and that's what i'm seeing taurus virgo capricorn taurus again capricorn here <sighs> or somebody's in a toxic ass marriage ain't no fun if the homies can't have none smashing the homies yeah somebody ghosted somebody that was smashing they motherfucking homies somebody that had kids here or maybe somebody didn't even want somebody to spend time or be around their own kids that's karmic for real yeah somebody here they ghosted somebody that was entitled selfish and greedy <laughs> i'm hearing fake everything you know what I'm saying? Just fake everything, y'all. Somebody is realizing that they partnered together with, it looks like the damn devil. And so they, they trying to get away from this energy or they ghosted this energy or they just feel like whoever they were with was toxic and was using them for money or was getting them and, you know, or, or just was creating mayhem in their life. Okay. Four of Wands, yeah, somebody somebody could be living with or staying with for a period of time with the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you guys have a new home here. Okay, the Wheel is turning in your favor, though. Some of you guys have a new relationship you're in or you're going to be starting one. I feel like you had a whole group of people, though, that were trying to work against you. It was like, like I said, a coven of witches. For some of you guys, it didn't have to be all that. It really could have just been different people, okay? Dark entities attached to family members, attached to co-workers, attached to friends, you know, that we're trying to use these people to energetically come against you because they did not want you to be uh, they wanted you distracted from your purpose okay but for some of you yeah they was trying to take you out period or sacrifice you that's what i'm seeing here yep and they definitely were look at that went to a practitioner voodoo brujeria black magic spell work hex somebody really was doing the motherfucking most they were doing illegal shit for money okay period they stressed and pressed and spiritual court is now in session. Karma will be served, which means that they go into not only physical jail, but spiritual jail. I said physical jail because clearly it looks like somebody was doing something illegal within a business. Okay. Wow. I'm hearing dismantled. They're fighting amongst themselves, y'all. What is this? Eight of Pentacles. Magician. Yep. Yep. I feel like if you guys have been manifesting new work opportunities, they're here. You know, maybe if you guys have been looking for another job or you've been applying for another job, I do see that happening here. Because uh, I feel like somebody here is definitely getting a career change because somebody look bored as hell. <laughs> somebody is not fulfilled in whatever the hell that they've been doing. Okay. Somebody could have even, this is somebody paying somebody for some magic too, paying a practitioner. Yep. To make you stay away from somebody. Yeah, but I see this as you guys have a new beginnings, okay? You have every tool necessary for you to manifest new work opportunities within your life, okay? Damn. They trying to have somebody scared for real. What is this? Look at this full card. Why is she? Yeah, oh, somebody is scared that their skeletons are coming out of the motherfucking closet. Oh, maybe somebody's scared to come out the closet? People just need to be who the fuck they are and be honest with their lovers about it. <clears throat> yeah, because somebody been keeping somebody in the dark about who they've been intimate with or who they've been... <laughs> I just noticed this. Look at this bitch over here watching. Watching. And, uh, is, is that like somebody using like 
you know how they say mirrors are portals, but it's like somebody using this picture frame to be spying on their person with somebody else. Y'all, I'm so freaking done. So somebody said, listen, I found out you was fucking with somebody else, or I found out you was talking to somebody else, okay? And I'm closing out that chapter. You a damn fool. I'm having new beginnings here. I'm getting in my car and I'm going. Or somebody is exposed for paying for sex and someone was caught on camera doing something like we call it um it well it, it, they're lewd acts okay lewd acts when someone gets caught exposing themselves publicly y'all somebody got caught <laughs> on camera doing some, something strange for some change okay or paying you know for sex inside of a vehicle y'all somebody is caught on camera Wow, I don't think, I, I, it kills me that people don't realize that, you know, these, these street lights that you see out here, they have cameras on it. <laughs> these parking lots that people go to by stores, they have cameras on those light fixtures. Okay, somebody was a damn fool. This is the fool car right here. It was a damn fool. Now we got someone's baby mama or we got a, a, a feminine that's a mother, okay? And somebody realizing the grass wasn't greener on the other side. It was fake. So whatever they did, cheating, they realizing it wasn't worth it. Whoever they chose, they realized was smashing someone that they said was their homie, but really was their lover. Yeah, someone learning a big lesson here. This is crazy, y'all. This is like, this is, y'all, somebody could want to come get you, okay? Somebody could want to come pick you up and they might want to get it cracking with you in the damn car. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all doing too much today. Y'all doing too much. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, but somebody looks like they might not make it to the, the house or the room. Anyways, high priestess, justice. You're going to get your justice, high priestess. Whoever was fucking with you, okay, doing the spell work and all the other crap or just, you know, being a hindrance or a distraction to you or, or breaking your heart or whatever secrets that somebody had are about to be exposed and it's going to blow your motherfucking install back when you know all the shit that somebody did. That's what I got to say because somebody knows here what this person has been doing and I feel it's the law that knows. Notice how she's holding the scales here, but she's dressed as a maid. So what I'm seeing here is there could be a maid in a hotel that's working with law enforcement or there is literally law enforcement in undercover clothes that has been watching everything going on and they about to bring the damn, they, they about to bring justice y'all. Anyways, I do see some of y'all definitely getting someone proposing to you. I see someone getting divorced and wanting to get remarried to you. You're going to be in the Ten of Pentacles, period. Uh, but your money looks good. Yeah, you're going to have a happy family that you want. Now, for some of you, it just, it might be with somebody different than you expect if they don't get their shit together. But regardless, I mean, this is the energy you're meant to be in. The Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles together with the Justice card. That's like going to the Justice of the Peace Okay, intuitively, you know that you're going to be fine. You know that, okay? You know that here. But y'all been, it's been a lot of drama. What's this? The Eight of Cups, the King of Cups, the Ace of Coins. Yep, someone is walking away from somebody else or something else so they can offer you love with the Ace of Coins. Okay, it's going to leave somebody heartbroken. Okay, but at the end of the day, either they're already at an emotional or physical distance from that person or they just don't. Um, they don't feel the same anymore. They don't want to be with that person. So they want to move on. I would say to calmer waters, but it, it does look like it's going to be turbulent for them to get away from this crazy ass karmic because this karmic is a straight fatal attraction. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I feel like someone realizes somebody was a pathological liar and it was nothing but red flags. Yeah. So now you got somebody driving by your house okay period it's like somebody wanted to come by and try to tempt you with with sex or with lust or somebody is mad that somebody is tempted by you oh god here we go yeah somebody could have even tried to send somebody to you 
like under the guise of something else to see if you fall for it and mess with that person I'm getting. Somebody got too much time on their hands. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone portraying themselves to be someone that they're not. Yeah, see, somebody here, but I'm hearing you. I'm hearing that because you didn't take the bait, you passed the test. So these could have even been dark entities that were attached to different people. And so they know what you like. They know your preferences. So they sent this person to you, okay? And because you rejected this person's advances, you passed the test. And these pretty much these dark energies are saying, my plan is ruined. Now, somebody could have wanted to try to come by your house and cause some type of drama, Okay, or somebody's been watching you and they think you sexy as hell, but there's more information you need to know about this person. Okay, whatever plan somebody had against you is ruined, okay? Or against your person. But for some of you, y'all y'all's people need to stop being if they would stop being so damn intoxicated, they would be able to see what these in, what these dark entities are trying to do to them. It's like somebody here Mm -mm. yeah because overall energy is the king of coins somebody wants you to take this offer they want to be successful with you that's what they want and somebody's coming in swiftly because they know that you have options okay or someone wants to take your relationship to the next level we have taurus virgo capricorn gemini libra aquarius and your spiritual team is not playing they're like listen like the collective is, is destined for great things they're meant to help many people here so it's like if you're not coming in peace we got that onk for that ass like somebody's spiritual team is not playing they've been handing out ass whoopings left and right okay i just got chills like yeah it's like somebody underestimated your spiritual ranking and who you were so when they came for you they came for man let's just say you have thousands of angels protecting you somebody was a fool y'all they was a fool and any spell work that they was waiting for to manifest honey it backfired it ricocheted somebody has cursed their lineage based on their decisions to come against you somebody needs to get their mind right period okay i see you have multiple offers and these people want to be serious with you okay that's what I'm seeing here. The Eight of Swords, somebody scared about going to jail. Oh, shit. Someone, what the hell is this? Somebody was trying to keep you trapped, and now they falling out the damn tower. Like, somebody here, because they didn't listen to divine guidance, because they didn't change their life around, and they were too stubborn to accept advice or to make positive changes within their life, they're having some type of not just ego death, but it's like their world is completely coming down around them because the divine is like, listen, if you don't want to get away from these people, if you don't want to change your life, then I'm going to do whatever it is I have to do to get you away from that environment. Damn, this is crazy, y'all. Yep. Knight of Wands reverse, the King of Wands reverse. This is happening because somebody here was either... Um, doing some type of dark magic because you know the king of wands reverse knight of wands reverse is not just a player but it's also like necromancy energy what i'm seeing here though is the tower is here it's all coming down somebody could very well be going to jail too 100 percent. somebody that was inconsistent somebody that was a player every time they were in a relationship they were acting like they were single okay somebody is burning here too <laughs> these parties on fire god forgive me i should not be laughing but it's just the fact that somebody got lightning coming out of their part somebody's a dirty bird y'all y'all avoided this calamity adios yeah baby <laughs> let's see it yeah my somebody is looking at you they got somebody from their past looking at them or maybe that's your spiritual team looking at them like sir don't even try it today not today yeah, like you're not you not trying to you're not gonna get our person initiated into whatever the fuck you got going on. You're not gonna have our collective burning cause you burning. Get the fuck out of here. Yep. These people are turning amongst each other on, on each other. Your person in a karmic connection, okay, or your person's karmic and their karmic are in some type of uh they about to be. This is future energy. Somebody's going to jail. Okay, someone might have an accident. Okay. And somebody is just straight. They are arguing amongst themselves. Yep. 
because they was trying to sacrifice you and then they were celebrating while you were hurting somebody is sadistic here yeah some third party felt like they could emotionally manipulate your person so that they could celebrate nope i don't see that happening y'all are being protected y'all got divine guidance okay divine protection here you guys pray maybe you pray at night maybe you look up at the sky okay you know you're not from here you know that you i'm hearing are anointed these people they messed up coming for you and they really messed up if they went towards somebody that is shallow nobody needs that many fucking bags i don't give a fuck how much money you got that is obsessive okay they went towards somebody materialistic somebody that could even be showing their body online you know what i'm saying for everybody to fucking see their parts and shit like they got no value no worth okay didn't i just say somebody is burning <laughs> they haunted while they burned somebody needs to go to the damn doctor already i'm so tired of these storylines too but this is the energy y'all so i read it yeah somebody got a side chick from hell that they was doing something they shouldn't have been doing with and they both getting caught they both getting caught y'all damn they really getting caught they going to jail you might receive some type of communication or i'm seeing like somebody has been tapped into their phones yeah baby somebody crying because they know they regret these different people they was hooking up with okay either at a motel or they were just having temporary one night stands and they regret that shit because now it's all being exposed i'm here for the world to see damn it might even be in the local news if these people were really doing some serious underhanded shit y'all yeah they was front like they was in a relationship both people were fucking other people that's disgusting y'all it, it was fake Yep, some type of communication. Whatever the fuck they was trying to do, this this person that's been out there sleeping with everybody, it's all backfiring, y'all. We already seen that spiritual court is in session. It's like, this is gross energy. Yeah, someone had wrote in the comments they dodged a bullet. You show the fuck did dodge a bullet. Okay, because this is gross energy. Anyways, that for some of you guys, it's not all that, okay? This person didn't do all of this. Only take what resonates. But there is somebody getting free to come towards you. There's two different people. Okay? <coughs> At least two different people. Ooh, they don't want me talking about this. My throat chakra. Oh, well. Somebody really got a wand for you, though. They want a passionate new start. Or this is someone new that you're going to be meeting. And what's that song? Uh, Sex is on fire. Y'all, it's going to be lit, baby. Yep. And the overall energy, though, is this right here. And somebody is regret, ashamed, and embarrassed for dealing with Carmisha or Quan. Like, they, they're not trying to fuck with this third party ever again. Ever again. They, I'm hearing they did too much. Oh, child. <laughs> so, put me some popcorn emojis down below. Or let me know what you eating today, okay? I have Tars placements. We like to know that type of shit. So, yeah. Put some, put some tea down below, baby, because we done brought the tea. But somebody is really in love with you. So, damn, what the hell? I don't know what they're going to do. They better start speaking or y'all going to be in a whole other situation or you already are. Love you guys. Namaste.